Wolfman. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm here today to talk about a really awesome product. This is the Browning Black Label Tactical Knife. So first thing we're gonna do is slip our blade out. And again, this is called, the formal name of this is the Stone Cold Paracord Tanto. So it has a Kydex sheath, which is really nice. I really prefer the Kydex over the, uh, you know, like an older style, like a leather or plastic sheath. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit more wear and tear out of it. You also have a lot of attachment points, so you can attach this to yourself or gear or anything else. Most importantly, let's check out the blade. Again, it's a Tanto. Um, I really like Tanto blades. They're one of my favorites. I, you can do a lot of digging and prying with them. Uh, and this has a dark colored, uh, like the olive drab paracord handle. However, uh, I believe on the production model, uh, they have informed me that it will be a different color. So you probably won't be able to purchase something like this. So um, it has an interesting design. It has, um, a standard blade on it and it has some serration. I do like this for cutting and chopping uh, and it has like a metal here that fits your fingers nice. Now I've had people of different hand sizes try this and they tell me that uh, you can you can use a larger hand on this or a smaller hand it really doesn't matter and it has something really neat here. This is called a thumb guard. A thumb guard is good for if you're pushing forward your thumb is not going to slide up the blade but with it being serrated like this, one of the cool things you can do is use that on a fire striker on your fire steel to get a fire going. So let's take a look at some of the things this knife can do. Uh, and it also has one other feature on the back. It has a little knocker on there, which is good if you need to smash glass or pound something or, or whatever. It's kind of a, I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well. It's a little diamond shape. So it's good if you have to knock something. Uh, like I said, good for breaking glass if you ever need to do that with the knife. So let's take a closer look at some of the capabilities what this can actually do. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to try this out uh, as a fire steel striker. So there's our fire steel. We're getting quite a lot of sparks out of there with not much effort. I like that. Very nice. All right, on to the next thing. Let's see how the blade works. So we have a nice little piece of wood here. We're going to try to baton this. So we're going to just take it here and we are going to slap it with this piece of wood and knock it right through. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cut down a branch with this bad boy. See how she cuts through some wood. Look at that. Rent clean through that and it didn't actually take that much effort. So the reason I chose this green wood is so that I can prep it and we can do something that's gonna set this blade apart from all of the others. So the first step I'm gonna do is use this to get rid of all the extra junk on the edge of this blade. We'll take that off just like this and uh, just like that. Get it all shaved down and get it prepped and ready. So normally in order to use this as either a spear or as an ax or anything like that, I would have to take this and I would have to split the wood and set my knife blade right inside. But this, this is what separates this. It's a really cool feature. And what I'm gonna show you next is um, this, uh, again, this is covered in paracord. We're gonna pick the paracord off and attach it to this in a very, very sturdy way. So I pick out my paracord here and I'm just going to keep rotating the knife and get it out. And you can see it comes out. Now I guess if I didn't want army green, I could replace that with any color that I wanted. Uh, you know, blue or red or whatever suits your fancy. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're just gonna keep on going here, take all that out. So I've got all this off. I've got my one last little piece here to pull through. And there we go. Now you can see here I have not much cord, maybe about, I don't know, maybe about a meter and a half, but it's enough to attach this onto a stick. Now I got my, uh, my knife here. I'm gonna attach it to the side like this. And I'm gonna start by basically just taking my paracord and starting to weave it around almost in the same way that it was on before. But instead of putting it around both of the handles, I'm gonna put it one side on the handle and I'm gonna put one side just like this around my stick. Now it might take some time to do this, but if my life was in such a situation that I needed to do this, I'm gonna have the time on my hands to get this job done. Even though right now, you know, sitting on a park bench, um, it's probably a little bit more challenging, but uh, you can see that that just goes along just like this. And we're gonna attach it as snug as possible 
back onto my, onto my stick. So it took me uh, a few minutes. Uh, I had some help, of course, from my camera crew to get this thing on here. But uh, take a look at that. Um, you can see that I have it sort of attached on this side and it goes all the way around. Now, the reason I chose green wood for this was so that it's flexible. So now if I'm going to use this as a spear or I'm going to use this to cut something with, it's going to have a little bit more flexibility and it's less likely to break. So the next thing we're going to do is try to cut a small tree limb off with this thing and use it just like a form of axe. So here we go, we've got our tool, we've got a little bit of a limb here. We can either cut or we can swack. That was a lot faster than using this as a saw. So we can use this as a weapon, if necessary, to stab like this, right? What if you like fish and you're in a survival situation and you have this beautiful tool, you can get in the water and you can use it now to stab some fish with. So you can get in there, you can wait nice and calm until the fish come around, pick them up right out of the water on this. It's a little serrated on the edge, so if your fish goes on the blade, he's gonna get stuck on there long enough for you to get it out of the water. All in all, a really great blade. So like I said, all in all, this is a great blade. Now, any survival tool that you have it has a much better chance of being a useful tool when it has multiple purposes. And this is definitely a multi-purpose tool. It has a saw. It has the thing on the back that you can use either as a thumb guard or you can use it as a striker. Look how easy and fast I can tie that on. And I mean, that is really, really on there. Like I, when I wiggle this, I can't I, like I can't get much give on that. It is fantastic. And I didn't use any other cording other than the cording that was actually on the unit itself. So all in all, a great blade, not a bad steel. You know, it still has a lot of sharpness and we've been out here probably half a day with my film crew filming this. It has been fantastic. So um, all in all, I definitely would recommend this, the, uh, the Black Label Tactical Blade from Browning. Pick one up. They retail in and around the neighborhood of between $40 and $60, depending on your retailer. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing.